Manny, what's going through your mind right now? Just very grateful. Very grateful. Um, played a really, really, really tough game. Um, but as we said all year, man, we lost some of those close games. We didn't lose this one. Um, so much adversity throughout this whole game, and we just stayed poised. Um, stay, stay trusted the game plan. There's nobody pointing fingers. And something went wrong, um, and that's why we finished with one more point than they did. Uh, I texted Coach Likens before the game and he said, "Man, I want you to have a great night. Throw for you know all these yards and all these touchdowns." And I responded, "I just want to win by one point." So, so that's what we did. You and Nikhil were hugging in that end zone after the game. Were you guys exchanging any words or just absorbing that moment? Uh, yeah, just observing the moment because uh, I've been so fortunate to, and that's like my best friend, so um, he's been there through it all with me and, uh, and he plays his heart out and I'm forever grateful for him, so. You know, talked about, you talked about staying patient, staying with it. I mean, it seemed like they had, they were bottling you up, but what did the line give you late to just get, keep getting those big runs and just staying with the game plan? We started having two plays, and so Manny didn't like the way the defense looked. He could check into a different play, and so that's exactly what he did on that play. And I trusted his play calling. I trusted his reads and instinct, and so um, the other line just did a great job of giving it to the second level. What do you think happened in the second half of the running game just opened up more? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We stayed, we stayed with it. Um, it. All it takes is one play to pop everything open. That's what I was telling Manny while we were sitting on the sideline. And so, um, like he said, there was no one pointing fingers. There was no one not trusting the game plan. And so, um, put our trust in our coaches, and they came through for us. When you guys were down 19 points, what's the conversation like on the sideline there? So I play 2K a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what we say in 2K is like if you're down or whatever, if you're down by 20, stop in a bucket. That's all you gotta do, is stop in a bucket. So we need a score, get a stop, we'll get another one. And uh, we just, like I said, we just trust the coach's plan. Um, we didn't deviate from our game plan. And uh, we knew that if we just chipped away slowly, um, if we all just stayed the course, that we'll have an opportunity. And uh, we had an opportunity, and we capitalized. Are you talking to guys about that on the sidelines? 100%. 100%. Um, after we scored, uh, after we scored, not the last the last time we scored, but the other one we scored on, um, I went immediately to the defense, and I looked every one of them in their eyes, and they saw my look, and I said, go give me the ball. And uh, they did it. And he scored, and there it is. There. This is a little bit game. like when he came over. Man, it's showing hard. Just showing our team, like one of our team, man. Just like he said, scoring the bucket. I told the defense, even after I got scored, I'm gonna keep going, man. Keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. This team gonna fold. Keep playing. That's how our team is, man. Right. Do this every day. Football's a game of emotions and momentum swings. Did you feel it? Yeah, I mean, I, I saw what we were getting early in the game, you know, three-yard runs. They were turning into ten-yard runs because fatigue starts to play, um, play a pivotal role in the game when you get in the fourth quarter. And, you know, I don't know if you guys know the stats, but we outscore our opponents in the fourth quarter by a tremendous amount of points. So um, we know what type of football team we were, and we knew if we had an opportunity that – we would do what we need to do to win this football game. Did that momentum switch happen with Ashari and then the next? Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they played played a really, really, really good game. Um, I, he doesn't understand how how big of a play he just made in a territorial cup in the situation that we were in. He, I, as a 17, 18-year-old kid, he just doesn't understand. And, um, you know, 30 years down the road, he's he's people are gonna remember him for you know getting a game winning interception to let us go score. So, um, great job by them and credit to our defense for not letting up and uh, hold them to what we needed them to hold them to. What about he was holding? He was talking to you after the Oregon <coughs> as you guys walked out the field. Sure. Cool. Sure, yeah. Do you remember that conversation? We got one more. That's what we talked about, and uh, I let him know the importance of this game. Um, and I mean, I know you can ask him. He's, I think, the past couple of weeks, he's really like flipped the switch, and you know, he has his feet under him now. Um, and uh, you know, he popped his cherry, so he's uh, he's good. Can you know, you building off what Craig mentioned about emotion, you were a little bit emotional in the end zone. I think it was the second touchdown, and I don't see you get like that very much. What was going through your mind then? Um, 
<laughs> you know anything about the jersey number I'm wearing. Yeah. Um, way back when, when Kevin Poole made that, that little play, caught the, the touchdown, and he was in their face. And so uh, every time, that's, that's, that's when, when we think about Territorial Cup, that's the play I always think about. And so um, I don't know. Like you said, I don't think it was emotion. I think it was just being passionate. I was being passionate. And so um, I knew what this game meant to everyone on our team and everyone that played in this game previous years before. And so just to go out there and uh, play with that, to play with that attitude and set the tone. What about winning in Arizona feels so much better? You know, honestly, there was a whole lot of action before the game. We talked a lot of shit. Um, I had coaches coming up to me talking crap. And, uh, you know, that's just ignorant. And, uh, and what I told them when we came in the locker room and I told the team, I said, listen, they're going to start talking trash. They're going to start doing all this. They're in trying to get a bowl game. They're having a losing season. Um, so when they start talking, take a step back and look him, look him in his eyes like a psychopath. Look at him. Just stare at him. And he'll know what type of time we're on. And uh, that's what we did. We went a whole lot of talk, tra trash talking on our side. Um, I think that's what they teach them over there is to try to get in the opponent's head and all that. But... Soft as hell, so we started that stuff. We started it. We started the stuff before the game. A losing team. A losing team with a losing <laughs> attitude. That's what that's what happens. You imagine your fourth quarter scoring. It just seems like when the pressure's on, this team really performs. So do you feel that way? Do you think that when the pressure's on really you really, can't really get it going in another level? We're just I, I told I told our team last night that this has probably been um, the year I'm most proud of because of how much we fight, how hard we fight. Um, and there hasn't been one game this year that we've let up. So um, we knew what was at stake. So we, uh, we just, like I said, man, we just stayed the course, trust the process. Um, God, God, God repays those that uh, trust in him. We got, we got coach coming up. Did you, can I ask Here they are. No, you J.D. Hill always says, how you want to be remembered. And uh, you know, I hope that winning this football game, uh, for me personally, I, I hope that uh, I leave a good mark on this fan base and, and you know, definitely on my teammates. But uh, this university has done so much for me growing as a young man. And uh, you know, I'm just very blessed to, to have the opportunity to lead this football team for three years. How do you feel to share the cup with some fans after the game like once? Yeah, they play a huge role in this. Um, Shit, they were louder than U of H fans there at the end. So um, they've been rocking with us, um, those that were here. So I had to let them share that moment with us because they're just as much as part of this team as uh, the guys that play. I'll oh, take you, Manny, out in the field after. If you guys want to follow, you're more than welcome over here. Okay, over. Sound good?